it's one of the most addictive pieces that there is. I mean, in, in some ways, it, it's almost more drug than music. But in fact, it's the piece I've done. It's the opera I've done the most. Once you've done it, all you can think about is, oh, when can I do this again? There's such a mystery in Pelias and Melisande. You know, once again, it's, it's a very filmic thing. And it's very hard to stage. And the idea, actually, that the singers can be wandering through the orchestra, and that indeed, uh, we will try to seat the orchestra as Debussy wanted, not in this block with woodwinds all together, but with them spread around the strings. So it really, so it will be a, a different feeling, and we'll have to get used to the sounds coming from other places and blending and, and blending in other ways. Uh, I think it will be absolutely fascinating. Well, Peter is another person I've known all my life. Um, and he's kind of astonishing force of nature, incredibly bright, extraordinarily eloquent, quite maddeningly certain of everything of which he's certain. In fact, I mean, we would have worked much earlier if we hadn't met uh, when we were in our early 20s. And within about five minutes, we had a completely furious argument about Richard Strauss. Uh, it took until Mm. my 30s, probably mid-30s, when we, we did Pelias and Melisande together in Amsterdam. If I can just tell you, I mean, the very first day, Peter came, he flew from Los Angeles, he got off the plane at 7.30, he met an entire company of people and all the stage hands, uh, and all the people working around the theatre, uh, they told him their names, which he didn't write down but then remembered and could still remember three years later when he came back to do the, uh, the, the, the next version of it. He then did a two hour talk on Pelias without any notes and then rehearsed the first scene from a full score on which he had written nothing. And that's Peter. And the amount of knowledge and the amount of musical understanding staggered all of us immediately. He has a way of creating an atmosphere where everybody gives of parts of themselves that they thought were hidden or private. And he creates an atmosphere where everybody leaves their egos outside the door and just simply works on what does this music mean? And I said to Peter, do you realize that Debussy said he wanted the orchestra to be the forest in Pelias and Melisande, and he wanted Melisande to die among the first violins. And that's why we have to do this next. And he said, sold. And I think that the orchestra here won't quite know what's, what's hit them. Ah, because he will be involved with everything and they will find themselves doing things that they have never imagined they would be doing. Or certainly they'll find themselves in an atmosphere that they've never had. And I think, I think these wonderful open people will just love it.